Hey everybody, good evening. How's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and well, let's play a little bit of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup tonight. So, Monday is my preferred rogue-like evening. I've been playing some Caves of Cud, and I'm glad to just jump right back into Dungeon Crawl. I love Caves of Cud, but I'm a noob. And in this, I'm a medium noob. So, we are in the business of trying to find victory with a draconian. It is the last of the novice species I need to get a win with. And I'm doing it the spellcaster route because draconians are actually pretty decent at that. Um, we have turned ourselves um, into, let's see, Pale Cyan Gray. Um, and so we can blow steam at enemies. And steam is actually pretty good. So I found that I can kill people with that steam pretty effectively. And that's actually fantastic, in my opinion. So... I'm going to try to, right? Now, um, hey, hunting wall. Good evening, my friend. How you doing? A little computer binary speak, maybe? Or is that some Fibonacci? I never know. You've always got the, the numbers to mystify me. And if we look at our own numbers, um, I don't have much equipment. This character is ninth level, and we are on D7. We uh, found the human. Hmm. But that's about it. What spells do we have with this character? We have shock. Uh, I guess. We also have magic dart, um, searing ray, conjure flame. Yeah, we have the regular book. And shock as an extra spell. Hey, hey, JR. Good evening, my friend. How you doing? Good to see you there. All right. So we've got these skills that we're working on. And we have a buckler, I believe. Yeah. So that'll help us defensively. All right. Let's just see how this plays out. Let's go down to dungeon eight. Um, I have actually gone all the way down to dungeon 9 apparently uh, we found the lair oh I think I fell down a pit that's what happened JR I am doing fantastic thank you for asking I um, I was just absolutely devastated by work for the past week um, and over the weekend. Hey, hey! Goodly gooder. What's up, my friend? Thanks for the follow. So I'm glad to have all my papers graded and to be able to, uh, breathe a sigh of relief and just kind of relax and play some video games. It feels great. So we have a shop here, which is a scroll shop. All right, here come the hounds. Now we have to make a decision on how do we kill stuff with this character. I guess I'm just using Magic Dart. Now Magic Dart is okay, um, but not not the absolute strongest. Hey, hey, hey! Squandered resources. Good evening. How you doing? Glad that you just got off of work. Hope you can chill out. Play some dungeon crawl that's what I'm doing here is just trying to relax so glad to see you <laughs> yeah you know um, yeah that's right hunting don't talk about the uh, <laughs> about that robot yeah um, thank you JR yeah you know um One of my children, uh, she sprained her ankle, and so she couldn't go to school. She was 
out of commission, but she's doing much better now. Um, and so I'm, I'm super pleased. So I had to carry her around and take care of her. Yeah, you know, it happens. Little kids, you know, they're going to get hurt from time to time because they're so wild. All right, cool. See, that's what I'm saying. Look at the steam breath right there. Um, but thank you for asking, JR. Yeah, I'm, I'm really blessed. Everything's going great. Papers are done. Family's healthy. We're all good. Tell you what, I'm glad I'm not... Um, I got some friends in Texas. I know some of the viewers are in Texas as well. And just, I'm very thankful to have electricity and water at the moment. I live in Ohio, and so we don't get much in the way of uh, weird natural disasters. But there was a windstorm a few years ago. Um, she's elementary. She's she's a little she's very small. She's elementary. Um, and we had this like severe windstorm here. All right, Ma Maggie's coming. Um, I'm going to give her steam and then I'm going to see what spells can I give her that would like really blow her away. Yeah, Ray. So let's just give her Ray and then give her Ray again and again and again. One more time? Yeah. So Maggie was on us and, uh, she's, she's always dangerous. You could see that she was red, right? Um, but, uh... You know, we got to watch out for red. But the steam plus the searing ray was all it took. So we're good. All right. Um, you know, I, I keep casting shock. <laughs> Isn't that the case, Goodly? I know, it's just like... I get some good dragon scales and I can't use them. You know, I'm just like, well, I'm draconian. We can't wear any armor. I'm glad to have killed her. This steam is just so insane. Like, I just killed that bear and that ant with the steam breath. So I have good breath. Um, I actually might pick up this. Eh, it's draining. Never mind. I thought it was flaming. Um, we're no longer drained. And. I feel like I can probably actually turn off shields almost. Let me look at my character and double check on that. Um, yeah, I, I already have the penalty for shields off, so I'm just going to turn this down. And we can focus on our spell casting. I was doing a little bit of fire magic and air magic because um, we have... Uh, conjure flame in our book and we have uh, mephitic cloud and poisonous vapors so I don't know how much higher I need to take those at the moment I'm on fail very very little um, even with mephitic cloud let me look at myself for a second. Yeah, I did start Conjurer. Interesting. All right. Okay, so let's just give this guy magic dart. Oh, Stone Arrow is actually a good a good spell. So the human is giving us access to Stone Arrow. Now, Stone Arrow is a nice damage with some pretty reasonable range. Um, let me see what I would be at it. It's a third level Conjuration Earth spell. Um, and I always like to tear up my spells so that I have, like, a primo nuke for each level. And Stone Arrow would be that. But I don't know if I want it. 
just yet because, um, I mean, I can always just amnesia it, right? And it's nice for Vihumit to offer it. But if I look at my current spells, Conjure Flame is not a... It's not the same application as Stone Arrow at all. Searing Ray, though, almost does the same job, but not at first. You know, you have to kind of warm it up. So I think I am going to just memorize Stone Arrow and just give it to myself. Why not? And then I'm going to actually quiver. Oops. Uh, Stone Arrow. Oh. Yeah, um, actually, that's a great point. JR is making about the Streamlabs bot. I had modded the bot hunting wall. It's it's nothing against you. I had an unfortunate incident um, a couple weeks ago where somebody came into one of the streams and was just spamming, like, all caps, and uh, I didn't like it. And so I told Streamlabs to not allow people to spam caps unless they are a regular. And I thought you would qualify as a regular, so I'm still trying to figure out the particulars with that. So it's nothing personal against you or anything you say, Hunting. It, it was just to prevent against people dropping in the chat and just saying, like, you know, offensive things. IBK, what's up, my friend? Were you spamming caps again, IBK? Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, because um, I don't know what it is, IBK. I got to tweak it, but... Um, Lux a dream. All right, everybody, it's killing you for all caps. I'm sorry. I just had this, like person come in and I hadn't dealt with it before I know as a streamer you probably should accept it that people are going to come in and just be you know fools or whatever but it really stymied me I had nothing to to stop them I was like powerless and so uh I just did that to like preemptively stop that kind of behavior but I didn't mean for it to happen to any of my <laughs> regular viewers <laughs> there you go, IBK. GG, yeah. Luxa Dream, certain things. There you go, yeah. Oh, perfect, JR. That would be great. Thank you. I think it's just a certain length of characters with caps like it's caps over a certain amount you can't do there you go yeah i think it's like 10 or i i can't remember what it was but <laughs> uh, it's so funny how i have to rely on you guys to help me with this chat and you know all of these technical issues Perfect, JR. Thank you. There you go. Yeah, all that stuff is cool hunting. Now, we've got a red two-headed ogre here. So let's see if we can take a two-headed ogre. I have escape routes behind me that if I need them, right? And I have paralysis wand. Um, let me just see what happens. If I try to paralysis, what am I at? I only have 28% chance. Um, that's bad. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to start with acid. No, I can't reach. It's too far away. All right, that's fine. Uh, Ice Blast, can we get you? Not quite. All right. Poisonous Vapors probably won't go far enough either. I mean, uh, no, that, I'm sorry. Mephitic Cloud is what I'm thinking of there. Hey, hey, BTS. What's up, my friend? Grit, that's actually a, a, probably a smart thing to do. Imhala, good evening. How you doing? There you go, IBK. See? 
We accept, Streamlabs will accept certain caps. Seba, what's up? How you doing? Good evening, everybody. Ah, oh, Imholic, it's going great. How you doing? How is everybody out there? Hope you're all doing well. I'm trying to win with this pale gray, or pale cyan, I should say. Um, cyan gray, draconian. I just don't want to splat. We're getting some traction. Let's not lose it. BTS has the way of it. Let's explore the level. Let's not jump into it. Oh, goodness gracious. Look at this. Okay. So, this is a new area, a new creature. I've never seen this lemur before. Um, let me look at this. What is this? Okay. It's an accursed soul magically bound to hellish servitude for the highest bidder. If its master is slain, it will be freed, departing this realm with gratitude. Oh, that's right. Um, hey, hey. Boy, that's a great question, Luxie. We had the perfect one last time. Yes, that's right, Goodly. Um, so... I had heard that they were doing this, that, like, basically, Pikel, this enemy up here with the whip, um, used to be a slave master, and it's obviously not culturally sensitive to talk about slaves, so they changed the enemy to not be offensive, and this is the way that it has played out. Um, so instead of, it used to, he used to have human slaves, you know, which is pretty ridiculous, um, and so now they have these, like, magically bonded creatures instead. Um, I... Aw, oh, Seba, thanks for hopping on, my friend. It's great to see you. Good night. I know you've got school and all that, but I'm glad you stopped in. Um... Luxie, I think I was purple last time, and it was perfect as a spellcaster. Um, but what is your favorite, Luxie? Like, what, what do you guys like for your draconians? I do like this steam breath. I was purple, and it gave me really, really good aptitudes for spellcasting. Um, you know what, um, BTS? That is a great question. Yes, I... Um, what I did was... I'm trying an experiment, and I uh, opted out of being a Twitch affiliate, which means you can no longer sub to me on Twitch. And instead, I am streaming both on YouTube and Twitch at the same time, because Twitch requires you to be exclusive. So if you want to support, um, you can do that through YouTube, um, you can just become a member, or you can super chat, or you can do Patreon. I have a Patreon. Um, and so I'm trying that out just to get more eyeballs on the stream. Um, but I don't know. You know, I, I'm still experimenting. I'm just not a Twitch affiliate anymore, um, Seba. So I can't accept... Um, they don't let you accept money on Twitch if unless you're an affiliate, but being an affiliate on Twitch means that you can't stream to any other platform. Um, so I'm just seeing if it's worthwhile to stream on multiple platforms at the same time. Like, I'm on Periscope, DLive, um, Facebook Gaming, everything, all at the same time. Anyway, I'm just trying it out. Um, you like Grey? Boring, but great? I feel you, Luxie. What's up, Fading? How you doing? I got a room full of bad guys here. I got a scorpion, which is no problem, but <laughs> IBK, uh, you're right. There is no Reddit. Um, the way I understand, and you guys correct me if I'm wrong. Um, hey, hey, James, that's the, pr the brilliant thing about it um, is that, James, you can watch on any of the platforms that you like. There's no preference from me. It's just whichever one is easier for you. Because some people don't do Twitch, but they do YouTube and vice versa. So, you know, I can just be everywhere and get people in, a, in whatever format is convenient. Um, 
Yeah, I can't do Reddit for streaming unless you have to like subscribe to a channel, a subreddit, and then you have to sign up for a slot. And so I have to like specifically do it through Reddit and my multi-streaming software doesn't allow it or, or doesn't let you do it, I guess. So I don't know how to do it. Um, yeah, you only get two hours, I think, or three hours or something on Reddit. What's up? Uh, yeah, uh, Saint, I'm doing... Um, Pale gives me steam breath. <laughs> Thank you so much, Squandered. And the same to you, everyone. Squandered is also... Aster there is also streaming Dungeon Crawl if you want to look for another Dungeon Crawl streamer. Um, oh... James, you're the cowboy on Twitch. Now it's all coming together. I get it. I'm, p I am steamy breath, but I can't remember what else pale cyan gray gives me, other than the fact that I probably do good against steamy attacks. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna drop in. Um, you know what? Though? I was gonna drop in Mephitic Cloud, but I don't even know if it would work on any of these guys. It might work on these Lemures. Um. Exactly, JR. Aw, BTS. Thank you so much for the super chat, my friend. You are a living legend, BTS. I really appreciate that, going out of your way to support the stream. Thank you so much. All right. Well, BTS is the hero of the moment, everyone. Thank you so much. And I'm going to first drop in Mephitic Cloud. I'm going to put it, like, right here. And just see how it goes. I'm going to step back. I'm going to step back. And then we can start doing acid all the way down the line. We have killed the scorpion. I don't know. Um, this is actually my first time engaging Pichel. Um, oh, so I get plus one on spellcasting aptitudes fading. Thank you. See, this was the thing. Like, when I was the purple one... It actually took the Draconian's aptitude for spellcasting from minus one to plus one. So it was like a complete dream for being a caster. But I think I get this plus one to fire magic and air magic. Maybe because I am a cyan. Like a, a cyan gray one. Fire, air, and evocations. Yeah, I need to train evocations for sure. Um, yeah, purple is good. But the steam breath is way better. The purple breath is like a dispelling breath. And so it has application, but it was very limited. I don't think I actually ever even used it. That's how limited it was. Um, but right here, if I breathe steam, um, look at this. Look at this. Yeah, exactly, Aster. Steam breath just killed Pikel. He, I, I hit him once with the Wand of Acid. You can see his fading um, icon here. And then I just steamed it. And it does block line of sight for sure because I can't see him anymore. But at the same time, it killed him, which I can tell from the box because the, the slaves are no longer against me, I think. Um, or maybe I just killed a slave, actually. I'm, I'm not, maybe I'm not reading this right. It says Pikel's spell is broken, but I don't know if it just broke because he died. Um, yeah, let me just step back and see if Pikel... No, Pikel's dead. Look, his whip is right there. So we killed... We killed him. Oh, oh, you know what? I think this is what's happening. Please correct me if I'm wrong. This is... I'm still very new to version um, 0.26, which is, I believe, what we're on here. And... I haven't played against this Pikel rework at all, but before, his human slaves would stick around. But these guys, they just go back to... They leave the earthly plane. So once you kill Pikel, these guys are just gone. They no longer walk around being, like, friendly to you or neutral or whatever. Oh... You know what, JR? I must have just mistyped on the stream schedule. No, tomorrow will be Stardew Valley. So it should be that Monday is Dungeon Crawl, Tuesday is Stardew, Wednesday RuneScape, Thursday Genshin Impact, Friday RuneScape, that kind of thing. That should be how the schedule goes. I might need to readjust that. 
so you don't yeah <laughs> look at this all that survived after that room of enemies was a leopard gecko hysterical all right um we're gonna get this whip of electrocution because it's good and then we got it oh cool aster i haven't yeah see i usually just play um the stable release so i never i don't do trunk hardly at all so it's really interesting um to hear that you're playing 0.27 and it's sweet I already love so much of what they did to point two six here. Um, I love not having food hunger. Um, yeah, hunting. I do need to get back to Slime Rancher. My ranch is... Uh, it needs some serious work. Um, oh, Aster. You're too kind, my friend. I'm just trying to relax, and I'm just, like, so happy that everybody is here to hang out and just have a good time. Um, I love that you are enjoying stardew as well i mean it's just such a pleasant game to play in this these very trying times it helps me chill out so much oh man i'm so pumped that we killed that room full of enemies i'm feeling good all right so here is a whoa uh what's going on oh okay never mind i just looked at the graphic wrong um this is hysterical there's this orc priest that's sleeping right here, but he's standing on top of um, an escape hatch. And at first I didn't see that. And when I looked at this sprite, I thought that this orc priest was holding in his hand the oar to a boat. And I was just like, uh, does he have a ship oar in his hand and he's going to hit me with it? Uh, is that a new thing? Um, but no, it's just a dagger on top of the red staircase. Awesome. Awesome. 